Good morning. <laughs> Did you sleep well? What you dream about? I don't know. You cook already? Yep. Woohoo! Thank you. Get up. Good morning. So it is 9.07 and it's Saturday morning. Good morning. I am a mom, a wife, and a crafter. This is my life. Today's grandma's birthday. Yay! I make your bookmark. Oh, I love this bookmark. Okay, so tell me about it. This is I Heart You. Mm-hmm. This is the sun. Mm-hmm. This is the moon. Mm-hmm. This is this is a half moon. Mm -hmm. This is a whole moon. Mm -hmm. This is a cloud. Mm -hmm. and this is a star. Mm -hmm. And this is the sky. And this is a girl. And this is a flower. And this is a boy. And this is a rose. Mm -hmm. I think she's gonna love that. So I finally figured out what we're going to give Emily for her birthday. We're going to give her a book. A book. Actually, we're going to give her this book. Actually, I'm going to we're going to go to Barnes and Noble and get her her own book. I was reading her like some in there and she's like super interested, so we're going to get her her own book. You ready to go get your grandma a book? Yeah. And you want to get a little treat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> Ezekiel is at a birthday party, one of his friends' birthday parties is today. And we got Emily a book. Yay! Let me show you. And I got her the big version because it's easier to read and like you can like write notes in the margins. This is actually the one that I want. But I don't know if I want to spend 20 bucks on my own. This one's 20 and the one that I have is only like nine dollars. So we both got her books. One of us got her this one. One of us got her this one. I got her the one that provides the best balance to the combination. How was the party this week? What did you do? Um, we played dodgeball. And we jumped into pits with squared um, foam things. And also, um, we did an obstacle course. Oh, you want your gifts? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you. so I picked out one and your son picked out one. You did? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know who did what. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mwah. Which book brings more balance to the combination of the two? Okay, I don't know which book brings more balance, but I it, the book mm -hmm. choices were very predictable. Which one do you like the best? Oh, I'm not gonna. Who say. picked the best book? Ah, uh, I'll never say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hurt his feelings. Both you sides want, of me. <laughs> you don't want him to be sad. You don't want your friends to be. Sad. You must protect that which is precious. <laughs> <laughs> no, they both embrace both sides of me. Yeah. And that's the good thing. And I love balance. We just ate at the Sweet Potato Cafe and I must have had the worst server ever. So first of all, we had a reservation for my mother-in-law for eight people, okay? And then we came with like three extra people. So it ended up being 11 people, right? Well, because of that, apparently, our wait 
for our food was over an hour and I get it right like some restaurants are just slow they didn't have a lot of people back there but typically your server will come and say hey listen I'm sorry it's taking so long but we just are short staffed today we just didn't think that we're gonna get this much business so we didn't have it but no I went and asked her after an hour I went and asked him like hey is it gonna be like how long is it gonna be and she's good she goes not to be funny or anything but if you don't make a res reservation and you have 11 people then it's just it's gonna take longer because we didn't have enough we didn't know we we're gonna have that many people so I was like all right fine whatever then they come out and bring me the nastiest food I've had and I don't know how long the cornbread tasted rotten and it smelled rotten well I tell the server this and I tell her and she's like it's rotten well they just made it three they just made it three o'clock today so it's rotten it's I had the sweet potato um shepherd's pie and the meat was I mean I do want to be like a vegan so maybe this is like my sign or whatever to stop eating like meat and stuff but the meat tasted like horrible quality okay so when I tell the server that the food is disgusting and, uh, my stomach did not appreciate it either. oh you're sick see he ordered the same thing as me she wants me to explain what was wrong with it and I was like maybe it's the seasonings I told her that the cornbread tastes disgusting well she tries to almost tell it seemed like she was about to tell me I would stuff to pay for it if there was nothing wrong with it because she was like well there's nothing wrong with it I'm like yeah it's wrong with it it's nasty and then she's like well there's nothing wrong with it then and I'm like I'm not paying for food that I didn't eat and then she just like gets up and just walks to the back or whatever and then she comes back and she's like well the owner wants some you want something else and I was like no I don't want anything else thank you and then she just walks away she doesn't say like I'm sorry or okay or anything she just walks away <sighs> she was the worst server ever so we are going home now you ready, Zeke?